This video is titled, Comparative Analysis of Two Individuals Holding a Yinfu Bagua Stance. This video is going to demonstrate how to analyze the body of a human being to assess what kind of condition it is in. The subjects of the analysis will be the two people shown in this picture who are holding a stance from the Yinfu style of Bagua. The analysis is being performed on individuals holding the Yinfu Bagua stance because the stress that is put on a human body in the Yinfu Bagua stance makes the condition of the body more easily visible. Please perform a leisurely examination of both individuals to gain an impression of how each body looks. Examine the position and appearance of the arms, the legs, the head, and the torso. The woman's stance and the condition of her body are better than the stance and the condition of the body of the man. What observations about the body of the woman would justify the claim that she has a better stance and a better conditioned body? What observations about the body of the man would justify the claim that his stance was of a lesser quality or that his body is not in as good a condition as the woman's body? One indicator of the condition of the woman's body is her buttocks. This picture emphasizes how the woman's buttocks are a smooth curved shape. This smooth curved shape of the buttock indicates a certain type of strength and conditioning of the body. In contrast, the man's buttocks look flat and angular as emphasized in this picture. It almost looks like the man has no buttock muscles at all. The man's buttocks are not very developed and not very strong. The shoulders of the woman are mostly aligned with her hips. The human body is a machine that must obey the laws of physics. According to the laws of physics, something that is aligned will be more efficient than something that is not aligned. Because the woman's shoulders are mostly aligned with her hips, her body will be more efficient at generating and transferring power. The man's shoulders are not aligned with his hips. The man's shoulders have rotated to his left, causing the left shoulder to move backward while the right shoulder is forced forward. Because the man's shoulders are not aligned with his hips, his body will not be able to generate and transfer power as efficiently as the better aligned body of the woman can. The alignment of the shoulders influences the alignment of the head. The woman's head looks like it is relatively straight up and down. The woman's head looks relatively full and rounded. The fullness and roundness of a human head are an indication of the strength and health of the body that the head is attached to. Because the woman's head is relatively strong, the woman will have a relatively strong mind. The man's head is tilted. The man's head does not look like it is vertically straight up and down. The man's head is relatively angular and oddly shaped compared to the head of the woman. The shape and angularity of the man's head are an indication that the internal part of his body is relatively weak. The mind of the man will not be as strong as the mind of the woman because of the weakness of the internal part of his body. The right arm of the woman angles upwards across her breast so that her right hand is held up close to her left armpit. The right arm of the woman is closer to the proper orientation it should have for this posture than the right arm of the man is. The right arm of the man is mostly horizontal across his stomach. There is a relatively large gap between the right hand and the left armpit. The man's right arm is low down by his stomach because the internal connections of his body are not strong enough to pull the right arm up across the chest. The right arm of the man is also pushed away from its proper orientation by the rotation of the shoulders mentioned earlier. The extended left arm of the woman has relatively strong muscle definition and the left hand looks strong and well defined. The woman's left hand looks like it is sticking out from the end of the wrist and forming a C shape. The extended left arm of the man has relatively weak muscle definition and the left hand looks soft and limp. The man's left hand appears to be flopping towards the rear of his body instead of reaching straight out from the wrist to form a C-shape. The legs and feet of the woman are turned more inwards than the legs and feet of the man. 
This is an indication that the internal part of the man's body is not strong enough or developed enough to pull his legs and feet in properly. The orientation of the legs and feet are connected to the development of the buttocks. The rounded and full buttocks of the woman are connected to her ability to turn her legs and feet inwards properly. The small and flat buttocks of the man are connected to the reason why he cannot turn his legs and feet inwards properly. All of the observations listed in this video, the condition of the buttocks, the alignment between the shoulders and the hips, the alignment and shape of the head, the position of the arms, and the position of the legs, all indicate that the woman has a stronger and better connected internal part of the body than the man does. That information is useful because in a fighting situation that information could be used to make an intelligent choice on which opponent is more dangerous. Is the physically large man who has a weak and less connected internal part of the body indicating his kung fu techniques are weak and sloppy the more dangerous opponent? Or is the physically smaller woman with a stronger and better connected internal part of the body indicating her kung fu techniques are strong and accurate the more dangerous opponent?